Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, September 6, 1863, the New York Times published an article describing the contraband camps at Natchez, located north of the city, below the bluffs and along the river, and at the forks of the road, the former slave market of Natchez. The unidentified writer noted that 6,000 runaway Negroes were collected in the contraband camps at Natchez. Of these, some 300 will be fit for military service. While able-bodied men were recruited for the Army, federal authorities were at a loss as to what to do with the women, children, and elderly and infirmed. One Union general wrote, They flock in by the thousands. I am feeding about 500 of them. What am I to do with them? I cannot take care of them. So many free men had swarmed into Natchez that Grant had been forced to close the picket lines. The newspaper accurately predicted that if placed in contraband camps, the former slaves would become indolent, filthy, and would sicken and die. The Catholic Bishop Henry Elder notes in his diary that he went to the camps to perform last rites on the scores of free men who perished daily in the disease-ridden contraband camps of Natchez. I'm Hannah Jackson, an 11th grader at Natchez Early College Academy, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.